Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to FTB Interactions. So, since the last episode, I've done a, a little bit of work. I actually spent the weekend, it was actually a very busy weekend. Um, I was working on the mod pack and getting a new update out. Um, and so I was worked, I spent a bit of time working on that, but I did get a bit of building done. Um, at least some of the framework started for this build. And um, I've got a staircase that comes up right here, um, kind of just in between these two little um, step ups into that area. And uh, this staircase, it or this area, is still very much work in progress, just kind of getting the base layer down. Um, but anyways, this kind of overlooks the central area, and it kind of comes up, and it's going to step out onto, uh, like, outside right here. Um, overlooking kind of where the entrance is and stuff. You can see where we're going to have kind of a tiered design that kind of goes up um, this big ice palace that we're working on. So big build, still very much a work in progress. And then it's going to come up right here and continue up a little bit further um, and then go up above this. And then there'll be, um, which actually this will probably maybe be the layer of the floor. Maybe. Um, I'm not sure, but anyways, um, there's going to be, it's going to come out and overlook again and kind of continue up this main central, this will be like the main central sp uh, spire, you know, and it'll kind of overlook and <laughs> there'll be this big drop down and then at the very top, it'll kind of narrow out a bit. So, um, just kind of what I'm working on. This is mainly all like ism and there's, uh, these are lava. And then there's Glax, um, all from X-Tones. These are just ice. Um, you can't use X-Tones Glax with the architecture craft table. So just a heads up. I did try that, but it didn't work out. Um, and then I've been running a bit of materials through this. Right now I've got redstone going. Uh, well, actually it's just finishing up uh, yellow limonite, but uh, it's running some redstone. And if we pop down here, we have a lot of resources. We've got... Uh, 1,538 iron, we've got 581 copper, 626 uh, nickel, I've got 52 steel and 176 gold, I probably should run some more steel, um, yeah, let me, let me grab a couple more stacks of iron, it's not going to hurt anything, so, which actually, these are about to get moved upstairs, even though we might start looking at a better way to make steel, it's just, um, like here fairly soon, because this pack has a lot of great ways to make steel. It's just, honestly, our steel consumption isn't to the point where it really necessitates making faster steel. Because I just make it in bulk usually. I need to grab some more coal coke. Uh, just really, really fast. I'll grab a couple stacks of that. Um, but honestly, our current steel production, it's fast enough. You know, it, <laughs> I don't need like instant steel at the moment. So I just haven't... Um, I haven't bothered with it. Uh, but anyways, what we're going to be doing today, we're going to go back into the nether first. And we're going to start working on something a little bit different. Originally, I was planning on doing some Greg Tech machine work and working on our auto ore processing because it needs to be totally redone. But then I ended up spending a lot of time building and not really prepping up machines. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and plus, there's, there's a lot of stuff. Now that we're at the LV age... Which I need to find a certain sword. It might take me a second. I forgot to grab this. Um, but we're now that we're at the LV age, it actually opens up a lot of possibility for us. Um, I'm actually looking for this. The Spectre Sword with beheading on it. Um, but it opens up a lot of possibility for us for uh, moving into magical mods. And so that's what we're going to be working on right now. Is uh, moving into... A little bit of magical stuff. Can I add Unbreaking 2 and Smite 2? It's going to be four levels. That's fine. Because I want to use this for hunting down Wither Skeletons. Really, really quick. And I'm going to whip up one of these eight-minute night vision potions real quick. Um, I meant to make more of these, but I forgot. <laughs> so, that's okay. We only need an eight-minute one, honestly. Um, I don't actually need any more than that right now. So... Let's go ahead and pop into the nether, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the dungeon that we were at last episode. Now, we are going to do some more nether dungeons, but not right this second. We'll do those later. So, I want to go... 
off over here. Because there was that Wither Skeleton spawner. And, um... I want to go back to that. Oh. Well, there's an army of Wither Skeletons, in fact. This might actually be plenty for what I need. I need to make a splash potion soon. Um, some magical splash potions so we can deal with those guys. Um, okay, so nothing so far. Which really, I guess we could go up on top of the nether and go look for dungeons, but I think... What is that? That's... Is that just bone blocks? Because it looks like a head or something. No, it's just bone blocks. It just looks funny. The way that it spawned in. Alright, here we go. There we go. Please don't fall in the fire. We got it. Okay, we got four gas tears from him. Okay. Uh, where's the dungeon? Alright. Okay, it's right over here. Yeah, there it is. And we have some wither skeletons. It's funny because I can literally sit here like there's 58, 59, 60, 61. Because I had a question about, uh, you know, the amulet, it says, it claims it only restores one durability every 250 seconds. But it's so buffed in this pack, it's like every second it restores the durability. It's crazy fast. Um, but let's head over here. I've got, uh, yeah, I've only got two and a half minutes left, or a little under three minutes of uh, night vision. So let's just pop down here. Basically, I just, I just want to... Kill some wither skeletons for a minute. I guess I really don't have to stand in there because these guys aren't going to be able to kill me. Um, I only brought one set of regen, but we really just don't need a second set of regen. To be perfectly honest, we just don't need it. So, um, anyways, I'm going to grind wither skeletons for a little bit until I get a wither skull. Maybe a few wither skulls. We'll see. So, I will be back here in... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Well, while we're at it, let's go ahead and maybe, um, I might grind up a few of these. So I'll be back here in just a little bit. Okay, I've been killing a few of these. I've actually got seven Wither Skeleton Skulls, which is fine. Um, and then I also got four Ectoplasm. Because with the Ectoplasm, or the with the Spectre Sword, something I didn't even think about, whenever you have the Spectre Sword, instead of it having a chance to spawn Ectoplasms, well, I don't know, it spawned one earlier. But I actually think a Wither Skeleton killed that other Wither, wither Skeleton. So, um, whenever it did that, I'm not for sure. I know that the whole time I've been in here, there hasn't been any Spectres spawn. I believe it actually goes ahead and with the Spectre Sword, it just converts the, the Spectres into Ectoplasm instead of you having to kill them. So we've got ourselves some Ectoplasm, and uh, that's going to be useful, actually, that we've, got, we've already got that. It's going to be nice. So I'm going to warp back home. And, um, let me dump off this stuff real quick. And I'm going to hold on to that ectoplasm. Because it's going to be useful, but... Um, okay, so we got our Wither Skeleton Skulls. And we actually completed a couple quests. One of these, this one here is from, I think, like, last episode. We get four glowstone blocks for getting, um, some glowstone. And then party equipment. Uh, this quest right here, Spooky Scary Goo. Uh, we get a file, a vial of a Spiritus Essentia. Um, and it talks about here you have to use magical damage. But if you find a Spectre Sword, you can bypass Ning to make those potions. So um, then there's a quest here to get a Spectre Sapling. Um, we might as well go ahead and do this. Um, what we're going to do here fairly soon is we're going to add some more trees to this tree farm. And that's going to be like rubber. And then we'll probably add Spectre. And then we'll probably add... I'm actually not sure if it'll work with slime saplings. If it does, we might add those in. And then maybe something for just like standard wood as well. Um, I think that'll be good. So that way we have some other outputs for coming from that. But not just yet. We're going to do that soon, but not just yet. And there's a reason I don't want to do it just yet. 
Um, but what we can do is, let me grab a uh, sapling. Just grab like a regular oak sapling. I think it works with any of the vanilla saplings. It may even work with the modded ones. I'm not sure, but we could drop that down and just right click it and it becomes a specter sapling. So there we go. That quest is done and we get a free ectoplasm back. Awesome. Um, and basically these saplings, you can grow ectoplasm with those saplings. Um, and that's how we get into like the spectre coils and stuff. We'll get into that stuff later. We don't actually need it right now. Um, and I know the spectre ingots are used for quite a bit more as well. So, um, also the hell infused bookcases. Okay. We're gonna have to get into draconic evolution before we can do that. Okay. So now that we've got that, I want to turn my attention full on to, uh, actually, can I do that really, really quick? It says I can just break a glowstone dust down. I don't think it's shapeless, though. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, quest completed. Okay. Because we actually did that back, you know, a while back. It's just a new thing was added. So we get four glowstone blocks from that. Um, oh, liquid death. We can do this quest real quick, too. So we'll just grab a bucket of that from our dungeoning. And that quest is done, and we get a reusable morb and a liquid, a cell of liquid death. So we'll just go ahead and dump that in our drum. Oh, and then there's a quest here called I Hate Research. I want to go ahead and do this. Um, basically, this is to allow you to skip a lot of research. And I want to go ahead and do that, because I've done the research. I don't care for doing research. And we get a world's number one thumb crafter, which is poop. <laughs> So, oh, and it just turns into that. Okay, that's too bad. Anyways, right, we'll put it right there. We'll have our poop sitting there. And um, anyways, this is going to al allow us to uh, to unlock a lot of research. It says this quest will unlock Oromancy research up to and including the healing focus. Let's take it. And we get a command. And then infuse this. And... These Eldritch Delights, we'll go ahead and do all of that. 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 And that. Okay. So there we go. We have a bunch of research done now. And if we take a look inside of our Thalmonomicon... Um, if we take a look at like Oromancy, see we've done, we've actually now completed a lot of these. Alchemy, we've completed a lot of these. Um, and it just saves us from having to do as much research. And the nice thing is in this pack, um, we can actually go for the Cheaters Thaumonomicon semi-decently early. I mean, we need a Crimson Rites book, which we've already got. we got to get up to Demonic Slates. we got to get a Primordial Pearl, which I think is actually craftable in this pack. It is. Uh, Dragonstone, Human Brain, Preserve Curiosity, Resonating Gem. Um, it's a little ways into magic, but we can start focusing our attention towards that um, in the in the coming future. So, okay, so now that that's done, we're kind of we're kind of hopping around because at this point, a lot of the magic stuff is very tightly uh, intertwined. But what I'd really like to start into today is the Simulation Chamber, and actually. Oh, and then right here is where the, you get the blood altar. And that's something I want to do, because that's what we wanted the Wither Skull for, because we're going to need that before long. I figured we'd go ahead and get that out of the way. But where I want to start right now is deep mob learning. Um, we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a simulation chamber, which this takes a soot-covered machine casing. Uh, that's a bunch of obsidian, basically. We're going to need uh, seven obsidian to get started. So let me go ahead and just... Three, four, seven... Okay, and that's another reason I need I need just a normal tree farm that produces a lot of saplings because I'm starting to run out of EMC uh, at the moment, <laughs> and I don't want to run out of EMC. Um, okay, so let's let's head up here. I'm gonna need um, well, I'm gonna need eight uh, I'm gonna need eight steel plates, and I've got that redstone going. But you know what I just thought of. Yes, I need to get this being sent out. So there, you can output that. 
make that purified pile of redstone, and this is going to get centrifuged. Oh, we're actually power struggling right now. You can see where this needs to get moved. Okay, there we go. Now we're processing that. And let's grab ourselves a redstone and let me just pull up deep mob learning right here. Um, this is soot covered redstone. Okay, so right here we're going to need a block of coal and I think it has to be actual coal. Okay, so we're going to need a compressor. I don't know if I've got one up here. I don't think that I do. Because it's one of those machines you don't use enough to where you feel like you really need to make one, I don't think. At least at this point. Um, here probably pretty soon we will be making more. Um, or the LV version, but um, not right this second. Okay, so we'll go ahead and throw that in there. How's this doing? Good, it's processing. And you can see we're getting lots of rare earth from this, which we can turn into rare earth, and then we can run that through an autoclave to get rare earths from Thumbcraft. Um, we can also centrifuge it for quite a bit of different stuff uh, from that. There's a lot of uses. I know we're going to be using a lot of rare earths. So. Um, okay, so there's our block of coal. And what we'll do, I'm just going to set it down here for now. If we take our redstone and we left click that, we are going to get soot covered redstone. And then this combined with that, we're going to get soot covered plates. That easy. And then we need this. So I've got to get those steel plates going. And then we're also going to need some lapis, some ender pearls. Oh, and I almost forgot, um, right here, um, I ran that dungeon that we found, you know, last episode, and I actually got a soul stone, saves you from death while carrying, um, we got some sky dust, a uh, smite one and unbreaking one book, we've got some rock crystal ore, some more healing fragments, mob imp imprisonment tool, but I think the thing I'm most happiest about is that I got a dandelion, or dandelion. Dandy life yawn, whatever, <laughs> however you pronounce it. I got one of those from um, that forest dungeon that I ran. So we're actually going to be using that here fairly soon. Probably maybe next episode we're going to be automating that uh, for easy mana generation. Like, because it's actually quite a bit of mana. Um, it's one of those mana systems. I've done automated setups with them before, but not very often because I'll be honest with you, the game of life that it's all based off of has never made much sense at all to me. It, just, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, I mean, I get the concept of it. It's just, I think the biggest, the biggest thing is I don't see how it's fun. <laughs> I don't see how it's a fun game, but uh, we're going to be doing just an automated setup. It's not one of my own. It's just a popular one um, that's used like by the community and stuff. So um, we're going to be, we're going to be doing that. Um, Probably, probably next episode. We'll see. Okay, so let's go ahead and make, uh, oh, I need that. Oops. Um, and Deep Mob Learning, it's a bit of fun. I actually played around with this mod a bit while working on, um, you know, the pack I've been putting together because I'm actually using a lot of the mods from Iteration Funk and uh, it's one of Iteration Funk's mods and... Um, it just didn't fit the pack that I'm working on. It's a little bit, a little bit more futuristic-y, kind of tech-y, um, which really isn't something that I particularly needed for the pack. But uh, it is, it is quite a fun mod. Just not, not exactly what I needed. Um, there we go. And it's basically um, quest completed. It's basically a way to get mob materials without having to have a mob farm in essence and there's some other added little features there's some really good armor from it um, and there's also some trials and stuff which we're going to be undertaking um, probably starting today okay so our simulation chamber let's go ahead and put this um, put it right here for right now okay it says please insert a data model to begin the simulation okay so data models these these are these right here and we're gonna have to craft a blank data model and this is where we're going to start needing mana steel. 
Okay, and we haven't we haven't gotten to making Man of Steel. See, everything's really interconnected here, um, and we want to kind of work this up because we want to start getting into doing trials, and the digital mob agonizer is going to be great for getting into blood magic. Okay, and then I think to get into Man of Steel, we're going to have to get into a little bit of astral sorcery and. Um, well, actually, I guess technically we don't have to. That's if I want to get into, because I can make uh, the mana pool uh, fairly easily. And the diluted mana pool is just marble slabs. Um, okay, so let's start with that then. We'll start there. Um, of course, I'm going to need mana, and that's where we're going to start doing that automated setup. I don't know, we might do it this episode. We'll see. We'll go ahead and get those, and then we can get ourselves our diluted... Oh, wait, it has to be done in the table. That's right. Which I need my resonating wand. Okay, so let's do that. Please craft before the sun comes up. <laughs> the sun's starting to come up, so my starlight's dropping. Okay, there we go. There is our Vivid Wave and Quest Completed Diluted Dreams. Okay, and then um, let me find that. Right here. Diluted Dreams. And then there's a quest to get Mana Steel. As well as a Mana Diamond as well. Um, you can tell by this quest line that everything's like really, really interconnected going through here. Uh, there's also a quest for infused wood, vibrant infused wood. That's how you make a living wood. Okay. Um, which we could actually do that fairly well. We could do the infused wood, vibrant infused wood. Uh, we're going to need the autoclave. Normal infused wood. Okay, yeah, I crafted in world. Um, okay, well, anyways, I want to go ahead and go straight for the actual mana pool. Because um, it stores a lot more. And the fabulous... Oh, those are easy to craft. Okay, so we're going to need some medium covalence dust and some living rock. And living rock is like concrete. Like concrete. Um, we're going to need the fluid solidifier. We're going to start making concrete. Okay. And then this is a combination of stone dust. Uh, which we can use that stone dust, you know, that we've been getting. And then we're also going to need some clay dust. Uh, clay dust is also going to be one of our main sources, probably for uh, getting into aluminum, which we're going to need aluminum to get the trial key. But we're going to have to get a blast furnace to actually process that. So, um, well, actually, we might be able to melt down the dust. I'll have to look into that. Um, but okay, so we need to get the fluid solidifier. All right, so I'm going to have to craft up some basic machine stuff. Not terribly expensive at this point, um, but I'm going to have to get some of this stuff crafted. So I'll be back here in just a little bit. Okay, so there's our mixer. And then our uh, fluid thing. Oh, there's this. We get four electric motors. I'll take it. Um, and the advanced mixer. Okay. And then we also complete a quest over here for the electric pump. The LV electric pump. We get four additional LV electric pumps. And then we're going to take one of these, put it in there, and then we can get our basic fluid solidifier. So there we go. Awesome. Awesome stuff. And, okay, it was a chemical reactor that we made extra of. Okay, so now that we've got this, what we're going to do, let's set these up. Um, we'll probably set up some automated setups for these pretty soon. But for right now, we're going to put down just our uh, mixer and fluid solidifier right there so that these have power. And then what we need to do, we want to make concrete. That is step number one. And so we need to solidify with a block mold. We need to solidify concrete. And concrete um, looks like we're going to need two crafts for nine. Um, so we're going to need stone dust and clay dust. Stone dust we have plenty of, and then we're also going to need a bucket of water. Bucket of water is not a problem. Um, what I've just been doing while I'm up here is just grabbing that for now. <laughs> and uh, we'll go ahead and dump that into there. And then the clay dust, um, I should have some clay around here. 
Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get four. That's fine. Um, we'll just dump that into there. There's our four clay dust. And actually for this, let me grab that up real quick. Um, let me get three, six, nine, twelve stone dust. We'll go ahead and add that into there. And then we'll add our stone dust and our clay dust. That's going to start mixing and it's going to start making our concrete for us. So there we go. We got two buckets of concrete. Now I could bucket that out, but I guess what I'm going to do now in this case is just auto output it. Because I think anything that I make in the fluid or in the mixer is probably going to be going into the fluid solidifier for right now. Uh, not long term. So we'll put that right there and we'll put our fluid solidifier right there. And we'll go ahead and say auto eject, which is the blue one. Okay, so we've got our two buckets in there. Let me go get my block mold for this. And we'll drop that right into there. And that's going to start running. It's going to start making our concrete for us. Not too difficult. And I made an extra tin rod. I didn't realize I had a tin rod in here, so I made an extra one. Oh, actually, I've got a few extra ones. I've got three. That's fine. And this should be... Yeah, this is still kicking away. I decided I was going to make... Uh, or since I've got a lot of copper, I started making a lot more copper fine wire. I don't remember if I have anything else left over in here. Okay, so there's nine light, light concrete. And... Oh, it's not quite enough to make another batch. That's fine. So anyways, quest completed. Light concrete. And... We get 16 light concrete. Then they want us to get living rock. Now, I believe, now that we have our light concrete, this is standard to make. Um, oh, wait, I forgot I moved it up here. Bah, okay, there we go. Yeah, it's crafting. Awesome. Um, so we'll just give this just a minute to convert, and then we'll get our, um, our living rock. And what about our spreaders? These are just infused wood and wisdom wood. I wonder if this will grow now. Or do we have to do it? Maybe we have to do it this way. Um, probably. Okay, so actually while that's running, let's pop down here. And let me grab a bit of oak wood planks. Let's go ahead and make ourselves some infused wood. Oh wait, my bad. It's uh, We need a log for it. It's not planks. Planks for the wisdom wood. Logs for the infused wood. Okay, so I'm just going to do a stack of these. So we'll just dump that. There we go. You can see it's crafting down in there. That should be done. Okay, so there's 64 infused wood. And then... I don't think there's any reward for that quest. No. It's too easy to get a reward, I think. And then for the wisdom wood... What I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a bucket of this. I'm going to set that down right there for now. And we'll just drop in some planks, and we get wisdom wood from that. Okay. And then for the spreader, it's just a brass plate and a glass lens. Glass lens is like that. Okay, so let's head up here. Our living rock is done. So, we go ahead and grab all of that, and we get a quest complete. Yay. And I'll get some more of that converting. And then over to here, we need... Uh, well, we need the glass lens first. And then for the quest that we completed... Oh, wait, that's already finished. Yeah, okay. And then I'll put in the spreader, and we'll get that crafting. Um, okay, so for the quest that we completed, Living Rock, we get eight Living Rock and four Marshmallow Root. Root. And then Mana Spreader, we get a Potency Lens, which is quite useful, actually. Okay. And then the Vibrant Infused Wood, um, we're going to need an Autoclave, which I do need to get into this and get this thing up and going here soon. Because it's going to be super, super useful. 
And actually, the Starlight Infuser is not all that expensive. I should probably start getting into that, because we can make a lot of things a lot easier uh, with that. Spectral Relay. Oh, we could start getting into Attunement. Celestial Altar, Sterling Silver for that. Uh. <laughs> we're going to have to start diving into this stuff here very, very soon. Yeah, we're going to be doing magic probably for a little bit. And so, and we're going to do some machine work. You know, we got a couple machines today. Um, we are going to get into the ore processing system soon. I've got to prep up a ton of stuff. And ideally, one thing I would like to get before we get into that is nodes. Because they're not all that far in. Um, we are going to need reinforced slates. And the standard node requires reinforced slate as well. So not terribly expensive. And actually, we already got a master routing node. Um, glowing glass is easy enough. Um, pig iron, we're just going to have to get up to the reinforced slate is the main thing, which really isn't that difficult to do. And then all the rest of the uh, um, transmission coils in this pack are silver plates. And then I think it's gold plates. Yeah. So we're gonna start moving into nodes here soon, and that's kind of what I'm. That's kind of what I'm holding off on for a lot of this stuff, because nodes, they're not very light in this pack, and they're super useful, and they'll get us a whole lot farther than crafting um, item docks for a lot of this stuff, because you know I tend to build so big, and these are actually to move six blocks. I mean that's a little bit expensive. Um, it's not terrible. But it is a little bit, it's more, I think, involved than expensive. But nodes are so cheap in this pack. So we might push on to those. Which really, we got the spreader. So we can start into Batania now. Um, but actually, I guess this. We're going to need gold plates, demonic wheel, obsidian skull, which is just this. We've got, I think we've got all of that. And we're going to need rock wool. This is another place where we need the mixer uh, to pull this off. And so, see, it was a double a double thing. Um, we're going to need a little bit of water. We're going to need some gravel, some sand, and some wool to make rock wool. And we're going to need four for the blood altar. Which all my sheep vanished. So, I don't know. Um, that's been an issue on the server. <laughs> they just... The animals just don't stay. They don't stick around very well. Okay, so let's go ahead and in the mixer, let's combine gravel, sand, and white wool. We'll get that going. It looks like it's going to take a second to craft this, but we're going to need four rock wool uh, to pull this off. And while that's running, I should go ahead and pop down. I think I've got some gold plates lying around. Maybe? No, actually I might have used them. So I'm going to need to make uh, two gold plates. And then we're going to need a, a bit of wheel. Um, I've got one right here, a demonic wheel. It's actually a better one than I would prefer to use, but this will be fine to start with. And then we just have to get the obsidian skull. I'm throw that into there. Okay, so this is two nether bricks, two blaze rods, and four obsidian for this. Okay, so there's the obsidian skull. And then we should have to get our rock wool, which should be done by now. There we go, and that's going to complete a quest. Light gray rock wool quest. And where is that? I remember seeing it. It was near the, yeah, right here. Right by the blood altar. And then we can get our blood altar. Right. Oh, yeah, the gold plates. Okay, and then... There we go. There is our blood altar. Yay. All right. So, you can see we've actually got most of these sections unlocked, or at least kind of started into. Um, now we just have to continue expanding into them. All right, man. Man, those shears, like, repaired so fast. So, so crazy fast. Uh, okay, so for the us, I'm just going to set this up here for right now. Like, right there will be fine. And then we need to get into the digital mob agonizer. And then we need a CEU, it looks like. Which we've actually got... We've got a CEU already. I'll probably make another one. 
This is Demonic Wheel again. Okay, so I'm going to have to go get some more Demonic Wheel. Thami Implied, LV Machine Casing, Sooty Marble, Electric Pump, Red Alloy. I mean, this is all fairly straightforward and easy to do. But I am going to have to go get um, some more Wheel. Which means I'm going to need to make um, some more Rudimentary Snares. Because the Sentient Sword, to get this, um, we're going to have to get Mana Steel Plates and Blocks of Demon Metal. Which I think is all just crafted standard... Um, to make that, I'm fairly certain. But we are going to have to get this, so we're going to have to start Blood Magic to get this, and we're going to start Batania to get this. So, next episode, I think it'll be next episode, we'll start the uh, Dandelion setup, so we can start producing mana to get the mana still knocked out, and then we'll get this going. Um, actually, this, maybe this episode. So, um, and we're going to have to make this, which... Not difficult. Okay, so I'll be back. I'm going to get this stuff together. Oh, yeah, the rudimentary snares. Coagulated blood. Which, actually, I guess I've got blocks of flesh. Can I uh, melt these directly or... No. And I can't convert them. Okay, well, I've got loose flesh, so I'll just use that. I mean, I can break it down, but... With the, what, forge hammer, but I'm just not that worried about that. I've got rotten flesh literally everywhere. Okay, so I'll be back here in just a little bit uh, once I get this, basically once I get the stuff together for this. Okay, I just want to bring you back real quick. I ran, I did two crafts of snares, so 16, and it was night time, so I went outside the walls. Got five demonic wheels, so that's not too bad. Um, this one and this one are actually pretty decent wheel quality. And these are somewhat, this one's not bad. These are somewhat more dinky, though. So, not a bad haul for two crafts of snares, because they're super cheap. So, um, But I'll be back when I get the rest of this stuff together. Okay, I've got everything laid out for this. So let's go ahead and... There we go. Let's go ahead and get that running, and I guess I should pull this back up. There we go. There's our digital mob agonizer. And then I want to get the linker. So we'll go ahead and get that crafting. And let's see. We completed this quest. Oh, wait. we got to get a CEU first. Okay. What we're going to do, because they actually give us another CEU as a reward, um, we're going to go ahead and just break this one. There we go. Quest complete and quest complete because we got the altar linker as well. Okay. So that is running. And then we'll turn this in. We get another CEU. And then we'll turn in the altar linker, linker, and we get a blank data model. Okay, now this is what we've been needing, the blank data model. Now this, um, you can craft these with mana steel, and we'll craft more of these once we get some mana steel. Uh, but for right now, this will be fine. We only need one of these to get started. And I'm going to set up, um, let's see, where do I want to put this thing? We'll put it right uh, right here. That's fine. Okay, so CEU setting there. We're going to put our digital mob agonizer setting right there. And you can see it's starting to build up on power. Um, right now it says there's no data model. There's no linked altar. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our blood altar. And we're going to set this up. For right now, we're going to put it here. And we are going to... Let's see. Is it shift? Oh, I can't remember how this works. Oh, we select the agonizer. So shift, right click. Then we'll come over here and uh, shift, right click. Okay, linked alter to target agonizer. All right. And then it's a uh, clear target with a right click. Okay. So now we're going to take our blank data model. And we need to figure out what we want to add to this. We can either do zombies, there's wither skeletons, witches... Blue slime, thermal elementals, spiders, slime, skeleton, shulker, guardian, ghast, enderman, creeper, or blaze. And you can see there's like pristine zombie matter, skeleton, creeper, spider, slime, all of these. Um, there's ender dragon, but ender dragon's not craftable in this pack. Same with, um, there's actually a, a wither that you can do, but it's not craftable in this pack either. 
Um, but you can see once we get like the alchemical matter infuser, we can take these pristine matters and turn these into um, slime pearls or slime blocks or, for example, creeper. You can craft this into 64 gunpowder. Um, or you can get creeper heads and catalyzing glands. Zombies, you get rotten flesh. Um, I'm not sure. The wither skeleton makes withered ribs. And then later on we can get wither skeleton skulls. That one actually might be worth going ahead and doing. Uh, blazes. There's blaze powder. There's sparks. Yeah. We're gonna do we're gonna do uh, that because we're gonna need sparks before too long. Ring of regen, which we'll never have a use for. Yeah, we're gonna do uh, blazes now. I'm not for sure <laughs> if blazes are still crashing the server because it's been on and off because we've been doing some config changes and stuff. Um, so we're just going to have to see if we crash the server whenever I kill a blaze with this. Let's see. And then we can also get molten cores and blaze rods with these later. So that's definitely going to be worth it. Let's go ahead and we're going to combine some blaze powder with our blaze data model. And you can see right now it's a faulty tier. Basically as you get um, more data in this, it's going to increase the tier like we have to get six data to raise it from a faulty tier to the next tier and we get one data per kill um, it's going to cost us 256 rf per tick um, to run this simulation and then the type uh, this one's a hellish type you'll see that there's different matter that you're going to get this is going to be like generally what you're going to get a lot of is this different matter and um, uh, this stuff can be used for experience you can also use it to craft a little bit um, that's where you're going to get your catalyst. So you can see there's a multiplier right here. Um, for example, 1.2 times on the overworld, and you get 10 operations. The nether is 10. The uh, extraterrestrial is 10, but you can see the multiplier goes up. And that basically makes your... Uh, it basically speeds it up for a little while. So there's insteel. So we're probably going to want all of these. Um, if we take a look, we should be able to see... Um, that's all the catalyst. So corrupted glitch heart is a hundred operations, three times multiplier. But um, we're not gonna worry about that too much right this second. What we're gonna do, if we take this and we drop it into here. Um, it should start running, and you can see we have no sacrifice runes. Oh, our data model tier is too low. Okay, so we're gonna have to go actually kill some blazes. That's fine. Let's go over here. And then we'll get into the simulation chamber later. Um, oh, I should probably make a night vision potion before I go. Okay, and actually I got a little bit ahead of myself. I'm going to need a... I started to go there and it was like, oh, wait a second. Um, before we can do that, we're going to need to actually get the deep mob learner because we, <laughs> we haven't done that yet. So uh, I've got most of this stuff together. Um, but one thing that we are missing at the moment, we're going to have to get a cutting saw. Um, let me get one of those. Okay, I've got everything for this except for the conveyor module. And we talked about this before. We're going to have to get rubber sheets. So we're going to have to go mining for sulfur. Um, because what we're trying to make right now is the... This right here. Okay, so I've got to go mining for sulfur. Um, that was something that we were going to do last episode and then I got sidetracked off of it. And it's time that we do that. So sulfur is found at um, Y10 to 70. So that's what we're looking for. So let's go ahead, because this isn't going to be any kind of use until we get um, the mob learner to actually equip it to. Which is sad, because I see blazes. <laughs> but blazes are common enough, it's not a big deal. Okay, I don't know if it's going to be best to jump around that's uh there we go already there is ardite i guess i'll use this pick actually um sulfur task completed task completed i actually think this pick is faster for ardite and we'll grab some of that stib knight because that's going to complete a quest for us 
and I'm just gonna go ahead and mark that. I don't need a bunch of it right this second. I'll waste that night vision potion, but it's not a big deal. Okay, now this sulfur, what we can do, we can squeeze it, or we can forge hammer it. Impure pile, purified, centrifuge it, and it comes out to be sulfur. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, and just for a minute, I'm going to pull some of this stuff out. And I'm just going to set it in here for now, because I've got so much redstone running right now. It's crazy. Okay, so we got some sulfur being processed. Okay, and that's made us some purified sulfur. And then we're going to add that to there. And that way it can go into the forge hammer and then it can get centrifuged. And then it's just going to get sent up here. Okay, so now that we've got that, um, back to the cutting saw, I need to get rubber sheets. And I'm going to have to get a... Um, or the chemical reactor, we've already got that. So we're going to need sulfur and rubber, raw rubber pulp uh, to get rubber. Okay, and this is, there's six of these, 144 each. Okay, that's not bad. I may have to make a plate mold. I don't think I've made one of those. So, oh, and we completed a couple quests here. We completed this one, and we get an Ardite tough tool rod, and two times Ardite, and... Let me just put this stuff away because I don't really need that. Okay, so the plate mold uh, for the fluid solidifier, this is that. Okay. Go ahead and do that. We'll do that. We'll set up our chemical reactor there. Let's go ahead and right click, auto output, and put our basic fluid solidifier there. So it's going to sit in the middle of these two machines. Um, and then I'll just empty it. If, if I need to empty it, I'll empty it, you know. Um, that's not a problem. Okay, so let me grab steel plates. And actually, I think this is going to complete a quest too, so. Even though we've been all over the place today, we've actually got quite a bit of stuff done. It's just been all over the place uh, with what we've been doing, so. Alright, so, is our extractor done? It's done enough. And we're going to drop that into there. We're going to drop our sulfur into there. And it's going to start running. Okay? And basically what it's going to do is it's going to make rubber. Sulfur plus rubber pulp makes sulfur. And we'll go ahead and put our plate mold in right there. Get this thing ready to go. And then we'll be able to make the cutting saw. We'll be able to make the conveyor module, then the cutting saw, and... Um, I know the conveyor module completes a quest. I don't know about the cutting saw, but the cutting saw we are going to be using again later because that's how we're going to get better planks, which is about, it's about time that we do that. Okay, so that's going to start running that rubber down and making our rubber sheets. And, okay, I don't have enough yet. I need three more. It's nine per craft of rubber. But there's nine, uh, and I think it actually comes out to be exact. Yeah, it does. So we should never have any rubber left over. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's get our conveyor module. And task complete, quest complete. Um, oh, it's convey this. And we get uh, four conveyor modules. What are we missing for this quest? A robot arm. Um, which actually isn't that hard bad to craft we could craft that and the rewards are definitely definitely worth it i'd say but i don't know we might but then against no rush okay so there is our basic cutting machine awesome and then i'm going to need some lapis and we're going to have to run this lapis through the compressor and then we'll set up our cutting machine like right there that's fine um, this is going to need some water. Um, you can make it more efficient if you use lubricant. We'll get into that later. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to use water. Um, you can also use, I think, purified water as well. But we'll go ahead and dump that. It needs some kind of a liquid, basically. Um, and then we're going to take our lapis block. Put this in. This is the only way to make lapis plates. And that's why we need this. And you can see it used just a very minute amount of water. Now, it does take a while since we're using water. I think it's faster if we use lubricant um, or the distilled water, but it don't really matter. There is our lapis plates. Okay. 
All right, so now what we can do, let's pop over here. Add our lapis plate. Oh, yeah, and the red alloy wire. I need to get that. So, luckily this machine's like super fast as is. All right, so that, that, and there is our deep learner. Okay, and then what we can do is we can shift right click. It says, please insert a data model. Your data models will collect data when they are placed in the deep learner. In order to collect data, you must deliver the killing blow. Okay, so we're going to put that in there. And it says, the blaze. Bring buckets and watch in despair as it evaporates and everything is on fire. You are on fire. Um, we have to defeat six blazes to reach basic level um, tier. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's pop on through to the nether. Let's take our night vision potion for real this time. And let's head on down and see if we can find ourselves a blaze. And hopefully this does not crash the server. If it does, I'm probably going to go with a different mob until it's fixed. Of course, I wouldn't mind getting wither skeletons. We're probably... I'm probably going to... Once I start... Um, once I start making mana steel... <laughs> I forget they give us super knockback. But you know, I never crashed on the server. Like whenever we were going through the dungeon and stuff, we didn't crash. Um, there we go. Yeah! <laughs> Let me get out of here. You notice the lava is like not even hurting us though. It's great. Okay, so if we take a look inside of here, we've defeated one now. We need five more kills. Um, to move to a basic tier. Okay. And I actually found something interesting over here. I found... Um, there's more nether sulfur. Sphalerite, pyrite. That's a different thing, isn't it? Um, oh, that's from the zinc. Okay, so I should probably... Let me mark this as zinc. And... Um, Let's grab those just to complete that quest. And we get um, four zinc dust from that quest. And right here, there is dimensional shard ore. Which, is there a way to process this? Um, we, get a, we get four from the quest. No, so maybe it's better if we just... Uh, or no, that's only fortune two. Let me just... Um, I'm just going to grab all of that. We'll hold on to it until we get at least like Fortune 5 or something from Astro Sorcery. Maybe. Um, okay, so I'm back looking for blazes. I see one on the far side. Hey, there's Dimensional Shard. And there's more Dimensional Shard. Okay. We'll take it because this stuff will be useful later. I'm assuming. Not sure how much we can do RF tools. Like if we can make entire dimensions of like Greg Tech ores that would be pretty nice but okay so there's another blaze down we need uh two more to reach basic tier and there we go basic data model reach the basic tier all right so let's warp back home and let's go put this thing in it's been a it's been a why can i not go through there huh i cannot step through there right now it might just be a bug I'm just going to take the long way up. And maybe it'll fix itself. Okay, so if we take this, we'll go ahead and pull this out. Drop this into there. There we go. Now it's starting to run. You can see it's making 10 millibuckets per run. Now once we get some sacrifice runes, it'll be a little bit better. Um, but you can see that blood's coming into here. It's going into the basically the buffer first because that buffer has to fill up. Um, before it's actually going to build up any blood in there. Um, if we take a look at Sacrifice Runes, um, these take Vengeful Will Crystal, Imbued Sight, Black Steel Dust, and Blank Runes. <laughs> okay. All right. So it's going to be a minute before we can get those. Um, we did get this quest completed. We get four Dimensional Shards. 
Okay, so it's gonna it's gonna be a little while on these because these are standard to craft um, those. Now, one thing that we can do though, let's see, let me pull up our magic stick. I think we can go ahead and make ourselves um, the weak blood shard, right? Fingarum gem, glowstone, and a rock crystal and liquid starlight. Okay, that's easy enough. So let's pop through, and let me grab some of these rock crystals. I'm just going to grab one for right now. It's another thing, I'd like to get better fortune before we harvest up all of those, so. Okay, I've got some more liquid starlight going. I'm going to go ahead and, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grow three of these. But let's go ahead and drop in our crystal and our glowstone for our first one. And this is going to take a minute. This is a lot like, if you've never, if you haven't gotten into the Astral Sorcery after the crystal clusters were added, uh, this is a lot like growing, um, oh, growing the rock crystal and like making, you know, increasing the purity and stuff. Um, this is going to take a minute to craft, and then whenever it does, it's going to leave behind a little cluster. Um, and that's how it normally works. We'll see if it does it in this pack. Um, but then if it does, then what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get that to grow, and it's going to take a while. Um, so this will probably be where we end out the episode. But then whenever we get this made, then next episode, whenever we come back, we can get our weak blood orb. So that's at a half bucket. Of course, sun came up right as I threw that in, so it's slowing it down a little bit. And this is probably going to consume the liquid. Yeah, I'd, actually I know it will because it's going to leave behind a block after it's done. So, But if you see the yellow particles, it's working. It just takes a while. Okay, there we go. There's a bucket. We'll get that one going. And this is what it looks like. Uh, this little, like, I don't know, little block thing. And it's going to slowly grow um, when given time. It does It does generally take a while, just like the rock crystals. They take a while, like five or ten minutes or something, um, for one of those to grow up. I would suggest you make a bunch of these, <laughs> probably, or at least a few of them. Um, I'm not sure to what degree we're going to need to use these. Like um, the Orium Gems, we're going to need one for each mana pylon that we make. The Ilium Gems actually don't have any use. Well, at least here. I'm sure there's more uses. Plus the, the default Astro Sorcery uses, which we'll get into those later. Um, enhanced Low Light Vision from Cyberware. Um, we're going to need two of those. We're going to need them for the Runic Altar. Need one of them there. Automatic Torch needs one. And the Weak Blood Orb. Um, but you can see this one's actually grown a little bit here. So grown just just a little bit but it's gonna take a while so um anyways i think i'm gonna end out this episode here uh next episode whenever we come back we're gonna pick back up where we left off we're gonna probably get the blood orb first up and then i think what we're going to do is probably oh this is actually starting to drain that's fine it's still running at a decent rate as you can see because it's not like we're using that much rf per tick we're not using that much more than what we're producing. I could make another CEU, though, and plug it into this. Uh, well, I would need... Uh, I probably need I probably need more basic steam turbines, because I've only got one on this line. So, probably work on that. But you can see this is starting to build up with blood. So, the weak blood shard... Takes 2,000 life points. Okay. Which we've actually almost got that. Plus, we'll... With what's in the buffer, we probably have 2,000 life points. So, Yeah, so I'm going to end out this episode here. Um, but we'll pick back up with that. And then we'll probably do a Danda uh, Flying setup. Um, I don't think... I, I seem to remember looking in the... Cellular blocks were... Okay, yeah, they take saplings. Uh, beets or beetroots, rutabagas, and farm tofu. So it's not that bad. Not that bad. So, um, oh, that's all veggies. That has to be beets, and that has to help oh, up. Tofu is a little bit different. But we can just set up a little setup for this, like two centrifuges fed by soybeans. Yeah. Okay. 
but yeah, so we'll probably start moving in towards that next episode. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys then.